What's up, Internet? My name is Nerdy. And I'm Clarose. And this is the bunker that we are not allowed to leave because a hundred years ago there was a nuclear fallout that caused everything on Earth to be destroyed. And so we have been... I'm sorry, what was that? There's an emergency with the power system and we have to leave the bunker? What are we going to do? do? What's the outside have, world like? Do they have Bluetooth in Fallout? I don't know. <laughs> I've only played one hour of Fallout 4. That is one hour more of Fallout than I've ever played. Yeah, we are both... Um, I know We're a lot dudes. about Fallout because I've been around video games my whole life, but I've never actually played one. Um, I also... Uh, two of my siblings love this franchise more than any other. Um, and so... That's fair. I, All I know is Soylent Green is people. Is that from Fallout? Isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, we're You know news. what? Chat might have been trolling me because they know that I've never played. Um, I'll get around to it eventually. I think I would like these games, but hey. Uh, the good news is uh, Steam recently had a sale where I could buy all of the Fallout games, and I did. So I'm going to start playing Fallout 1 on stream soon. Look out for that. I'm very excited. I like old games, uh, as evidenced by my obsession with Pokemon, and I'm excited to dive into the Fallout world finally. But let's actually get into the show here. This is the pilot. It's called The End. Which um, that seems counterintuitive. Yeah, I wonder if I wonder if the entire first episode takes place before the nukes drop. That would be a wild choice. That would be a, like a cool, cool like create to like introduce the world pre Fallout, and then in episode two like, introduce ah, the characters. Yeah, eh, maybe. Anyway, we'll let's dive into out. it. If you want the flying through action, go to Patreon.com/slash/NerdyNightly. Uh, but I like the trailer, so I'm excited to dive into this. Alakazam! What's up, Walton? God, he is so fucking talented. <laughs> not, not, not the cowboy, the actor. I'm a big fan of him. I've had no comment about the president's whereabouts. <laughs> like we don't know where he is. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Wow. Amazon wanted to start off by being like, don't worry, we have money. Is that Los Angeles sunshine coming through? Ow, I can't, uh, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. only thing you happy. <laughs> I love that the kids all went over and turned on the news. <laughs> it was just what the channel was on when they, they turned it off. Yeah, but no one was going to change it. They're like, oh yeah, the weather, this, this looks great. And if the cloud is smaller than you thought... Now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than your son? They told us not to bother running. I certainly hope not. But us cow posts, we take it as it comes, right? <laughs> what a crazy conversation to have with your child. Oh. Oh, fuck! <gasps> Is it your thumb yeah. or mine? Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. That's smoke, Jenny. It's just a fire. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wow. You weren't that far off. Nope. It is wild the way they're interpreting, though, the fact that bombs don't just, like, they're not an immediate thing if you're not, like, right there. Yeah, it's he still has to get to you. <laughs> oh, fuck. What a beginning. Well, damn. Honestly, ballsy as fuck. That's impressive. Yeah. What a way to start, hey? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I dabble in riflery. So, I'm not very good. 
<laughs> Still trying to get my brother on board. He'll come around when he's ready. Oh, I didn't know he was in this. My That's reproductive funny. organs are intact. <laughs> one I'm not related to. And we have rules about that for a reason. So. <laughs> Didn't say a damn thing. Hey, I've got one of those. From a loot crate back in like <laughs> 2000 and fucking who knows what year. She getting married? Yeah. That's actually kind of a beautiful wow. idea. Wow, yeah. Feels a little tight. Won't be for long. On my wedding night, that dress got off almost as fast as Bert did. Hey, it's your wedding. After 10 years of cousin stuff, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. Did she say cousin stuff? Yes. Sweet home Alabama. That's wild. It's the volume. <laughs> <laughs> it pans over and there's the Mandalorian. <laughs> the filming right beside. I mean, that is functionally how the volume works, in some ways. It's pretty cool. Overseer, it's time. How do they get from one vault to the other, though? I don't know. And how do they know if you stay in this vault or go to the other one? Oh, there's literally, they're, they're butted up against one another by doors. <laughs> they're connected. That, that, that makes, makes sense. That makes it easy. <laughs> Must be nerve wracking. Your husband could be anybody. Oh, fun. Superficial concern that what's on the inside that counts. That's. He was from Hannah Montana. Yeah. Oh. Gatekeeper. They're not going to be there, are they? Lucy, I love you. <laughs> we all know that, Jen. <laughs> A sustainable long-term sexual practice, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Aww. He can't fuck his cousin fuck anymore. His cousin. That's so sad. That's it. Wow. All right. I'm really impressed with the set pieces. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Oh, they're there. I really thought they wouldn't be. As arranged, we offer you seed and parts for machinery. In exchange, we offer you a breeder. A breeder. <laughs> I'm Lucy. Do you have a name? Monty. Well done, Lucy. Congratulations. <laughs> good pull, good pull. <laughs> Honestly, they both did well in this. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No one's losing in that relationship. No. It's been a rough three years and 32. I guess so. So what's your sperm count? Sperm is pretty important in perpetuating America. <laughs> so. Not just as neighbors, but by a shared duty. To keep the... Oh, yeah, they, there was a coup. That's why he died. That the next generation, Lucy and Monty's children, will be able to recolonize. Well, after 200 years... We don't know much about what's up there. What the fuck is going on? This is wild. Mm -hmm. I feel hope. To Lucy McLean and to this marriage and to hope. Good speech, Dad. Good <laughs> speech. Your kids might be able to walk on the surface. I do love some South Pacific. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
That musical would have barely come out before the fallout happened. Because it's 50s, right? Show me to my new home. I don't... Okay. Let's go fuck! Here. I don't like the way you touch that button. Nope. The hand-me-downs, an ice box, a blender, they, they even gave us. <laughs> the scars? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I think 32's been going outside. Hmm. Bed is right there. Yeah. It's so yeah. close. Yeah. Especially with the metal edges on the tape. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I've never seen a card table that could handle that much weight. He's about to find out it's not the best of both worlds. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, fuck. Well, that's bad. He doesn't say much. The hottest boys don't. That's why I am not attractive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because I can't shut the fuck up. God. Am I wrong? Are you going to tell me I'm wrong? I'm going to tell you you're wrong, yes. Bro. Bro teen shake. We need to talk. <laughs> There, they, we, there might be a towel or like a fucking... I guess they wouldn't really have napkins. Just go to the, the bathroom. It's right there. Like, how you many curtains life. do you get? What? No? Yeah, it's bad. There's this, there's running water. Oh, it begins. Okay. You're from the surface. Eh, fuck. Oh. Okay, let's go, Lucy. Oh, he's still on his own. No, he fucking got her. <laughs> what is that? It's the med thing from the game. The stim. Oh. I played enough to know that one. Okay. This is really making me want to play the fucking game. Yeah. Like, what I'm getting out of this show is, like, I really want to play Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> no! That dude just married her. Oh, oh no, the room has been looted. And it wasn't me that did it! <laughs> Honestly, this design choice is sick. Yeah. This The Pip-Boy with the silver look, gun, the silver bandolier, and the bloody wedding dress is like a great look. This is the, the cosplay of 2022. Right now. Get that bullets. jelly mold out of here! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's go! The pairing of this fucking song with this scene is throwing it's me for a loop. wild, yeah. What an image.
33 is losing, but they're not not putting up a fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They're getting their licks in. Oh my god, them going within the vault within the vault in this scene, like, fucking brilliant. Pickles. <laughs> oh, just keep it in your shovel. I'm, I'm super impressed. I think this sequence is very well put together. Yeah. And this was this was cool. This is a really good pilot. Oh fuck. Day's not over yet. We're only, we're not even halfway through. I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who I am. I don't. I am unaware of who you are. You are my world. God damn, daddy loves you. You look like your mother. Whoa, what? Fucking rad. I get why this has great reviews. This is a solid start to a TV show. Yeah. The tension's great, the action is fun and like weirdly comical. Yeah. So much of the cast of Super Stories in this show. Oh. Like the tertiary characters of Superstore are all in this show weirdly. <laughs> Which makes sense, it's a great show, but. I'm loving the score of this show. Oh, yeah, it's great. The music, which will not be in the reaction for obvious reasons. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Perfect choices. Unless you know what to find and preserve, you are more useful as a corpse. <laughs> it's a fun worldview. I feel taken care of. Yeah. Oh, I really want to know what the budget of this show is. Yeah. The, the color grading choices between the opening with Walton Goggins and then the vault and now this. And this, yeah. To really separate the style of their lives is fucking brilliant. Oh, it's so good. It's so well done. Yeah, I just, I love that all the, like, the show lives in different worlds for mm -hmm. different characters in a way that's so distinct and clear. Mm -hmm. We're going to the wild! Hell yeah! <laughs> 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 you can be like 15% more visually proud of your friend. Yeah, and right. And be sad later. Yeah. I'm starting to see why he wasn't picked. What? What? <laughs> oh! Oh my god, I thought only ballet dancers did that shit. I'm tagging another girl's shoe? Yeah, I've never seen that before in my I life. I have. At competition. In Calgary. No. Me? Alberta Ballet, baby. <laughs> I'm really impressed that in uh, 219 years, they still have white fabric that clean. They probably make it. Out of what? Cotton. From where? Well, they have crops. <laughs> Maybe. 
the needlework on that cotton is amazing. Opening the outer vault door? Just for under a minute. We're brainstorming here, and there's no bad ideas in a brainstorm. Maybe but you. that's not something that we... <laughs> Maybe to you. That means not opening any of our doors. Well said, Betty. Yes. Thank you, Betty. And dying of inbreeding between ten people. <laughs> Also, that paint definitely has lead in it, right? From the 50s? I didn't think it was actually, like, the 50s, but I don't know. I thought it was, like, 50s style. Like, when they said, like, 2077, I figured, like, 50s style had, like, come around again. But I, I don't know. Because those buildings were, oh, like... did they say 2077? They're on the board. There were three dates. And the final one, where the bombs were underneath, said 2077, I think. Okay. Mm but that doesn't make the sense comments because will that inform sounds us. like a cyberpunk reference, and I, and and I'm I'm confused. How's your day going? Bad as everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> Outside of fucking cousin. your cousin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost fucking your cousin, you know. Is he a kilf? Sylph. A sylph. Nah, they don't fully fuck. That's true. Maybe anal. But like they can't they can't. It's get like a pregnant. Catholic high school. Well yeah, because if they got pregnant like that, you know. You gotta be careful when you get that liquid that close though. It's only an inch and a half. Like, even the design of this bridge, it's, mm -hmm. there's so much brilliant shit in this. Yeah. Holy oh, fuck, it's huge! Oh, wow. It isn't like the vault out there. It's big. I don't know, the vault's pretty fucking big. Oh, Lucy. Lucy's a fucking boss. Yeah. Uh-oh. This whole show is fucking massive. I know. These set pieces are, like, really impressive. And I wonder how much they're directly pulled out of the The designs? Oh, I'm sure a lot. This is, I really want to play Fallout. I like him, like, itching. Like, I might play Fallout tonight. I might just fucking do it. Because I'm so on board with this world right now. Yeah. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> And the jokes are funny. Yeah. Like, I'm... I'm impressed. I really wish this was weekly. I know. I wish that I could, like, talk about this all week with my friends and, like, come back to it again next week. Yeah. The fact that it's just all available kind of kills me because... I, I honestly... I, I never know where other people are at that. in the show. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I would I would fucking die if she was dead in like the next ten minutes of oh the show. Oh my god. <laughs> if she just gets she radiation poisoning and yeah. starts to like peel. <laughs> I love the decision to have all the plastic be the only thing that's remained in shape. Yeah. It's such a fucking commentary on the bullshit we put in the world. Yep. I say with like five Funko Pops behind me. Oh, wow. What's up, Santa Monica? We went there, right? Yeah. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me? It's fucking honest. Is this a Indiana Jones reference? <laughs> That's very funny. I, I, I wanted it to happen. Is that wrong? Yes. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Even if it means giving my own life, I'll do it. Just like, nah, I can be fucking cold. <laughs> 
will be Knight Titus, new squire. Did he do it? He's certainly acting like he did. I don't know. Fuck. It's not so bad. At least here no one steals your rations. <laughs> well, I've narrowed it down to any one of those assholes. <laughs> but remember, violence against within the, the Brotherhood. It's... Yeah, they asked me the same thing. I told him you wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> <laughs> Accept. That's hard. I don't need to bite down on shit. Get me. Hmm. It's a big fucking bag. It's a little CGI, but the weight of the thing moving down when he landed definitely helped sell it a lot yeah for sure yeah. and 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 here's the thing it's like but the close-ups being real is really smart the, oh all of that and also like the choices that they've made stylistically all are in the same within the world mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. even if it's cgi like they all still feel like they fit in this yeah right this looks sick Fuck. Mm -hmm. I I don't think that's how helicopters work, but, um... They're... fallout <laughs> copters. It's a long pilot. Yeah. What do you think the final moment is now? I'm assuming it's them meeting, mm. but I'm not really sure. <laughs> what? Was that a baby leg? Yeah. A feral goon can't abide a chicken. If he goes for him, we kill him. Sure. That feels like an old wives' tale, but you know. I'm sure there's a lot of those in the nuclear yeah, apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> go, go, go. Well, well, well. Why, this is an Amish production of the Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> now, what the fuck would you know about where I'm from? Well, that don't sound like gratitude, do it, boys. Is that the cowboy? It's a gun that just shoots random shit. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well. Well, damn. Cool, 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 cool. Cool as a ghoul. <sighs> we take it as it comes. <laughs> I'm glad the chicken's okay. Yeah, that chicken didn't do anything. Cool. That was a fun. That was a fun spot to like leave it off on. I was totally wrong about what the last moment would be. Yeah. I wasn't expecting a like third party. I guess. Well, I think I thought when I saw that the pilot was an hour and fourteen minutes, I didn't think that like eight of that would be credits. Right. There's no post credit scene or anything. There's like? a like this season on. I think. Um, that oh, we've that's... been told not to watch. So apparently, it's very spoilery. So yes, I'm down to not watch that. Uh, very fun. Yeah, it's fine by me. I I kind of wish I hadn't seen the trailers and I didn't know that Walton Goggins was gonna come back as a ghoul at the end. Um, but uh, that was in the trailer. Yeah, you see his like ghoul form in the trailers. In all the trailers, they showed off that makeup because it looks great. I think it's a great effect. Yeah, the makeup looks good. I just didn't realize they made the connection to him in the trailer. 
his voice is so recognizable to me. Sure, that's uh, so, fair. That's fair. Um, but no, I, I think it's a great moment. I think that the cast is really, I, I really like everybody. I think they're all doing a great job. Yeah. Um, yeah, so many fun things and such a huge episode. Yeah. So expensive. Yeah. Like, fuck, they spent money on this. Yeah, I, the, my, my, like, my one thing is that I could see this pilot being a bit overwhelming for some people, but okay. all mm-hmm. in all, I, I think, I think it was great. Yeah. It was like, I agree. what I needed, it set up everything. Like, I feel like even though I have not played the games at all, that I understand the world well yeah. enough to be able to get through this, the, the and series. And I really want to. <laughs> Yeah, right? Like, uh, like it, it actually, it piqued my interest. And I yeah. think that that is a great sign. If the show makes you kind of want to play the game, then I think they're doing something right, you know? I think that the choice to not have it just be Lucy's coming out of the vault. Yeah. Because I, I think that that is the iconic beginning of most Fallout games. Um, at least that's my understanding. I could be wrong. Well, that was kind of how they played it in the trailer, if I remember. Yeah, but... The coming out of the vault was like the big moment. I, I think the, like, the willingness to cut to the Brotherhood of Steel bit before Lucy leaves the vault, I think was actually a really strong choice. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that this is a show that could have been a full episode one about Lucy and then introduce everybody else in episode two. And I think that sometimes when you do that, what happens is you create a show that people like the vibe of and then they're like, oh, but this isn't actually the show we're doing. In yeah. episode two, we're actually doing a different show. That was just like the pre... I think that the, I think that problem happened for Star Trek Discovery when it first started, where episode one of Star Trek Discovery is not what Star Trek Discovery is. It's and, almost like a prequel yeah. to Star Trek Discovery. Yeah. And I think it threw people and I, off. I watched beginning. episode one and I was like, nah, I'm good. And, and like, <laughs> it's so different from the rest of the show. Yeah. And granted, that show evolves every, like, nine episodes. But Sure, yeah, um, yeah. No, I, this, I, this episode felt like they were like, here, we want you to understand what the scope of all of this show yes, is going to be. Yes. And we're going to put it all in one episode. We're going yes. to show you how far we go in this with, like, the cousin fucking jokes and the... Like, the, the Brotherhood being, like, a full-on sort of, like, pseudo-religious fascist kind of organization. But also, like, a fucking, like, fraternity. Yeah, I, but I, I think, like, that the way the, the way that the show used not a lot of cursing um, and not a lot of nudity, to but, but a lot of, like, adult storytelling and adult comedy to yeah. be, like, this is an adult comedy yeah. that takes place in a world that is very dark. I think they did a really good job of setting that up. I, I feel... In a show that is very dark, I feel very taken care of in that this pilot is very assured in the way it is telling the audience it is going to, like, take care of the audience by playing within the bounds of what it says it's going to be. And also that, like, we understand not everyone's played Fallout, yeah. and that's going to be okay. Because that was my yeah. biggest worry, is that, like, it would be a lot of... Um, like, I guess, fan service kind yeah. of things, maybe, that I just wasn't going to, like, pick up on. And there were things, like, the healing thing, obviously, that are, like, there yeah. are things that are from the, sh- the the games. But I'm not feeling like I am completely lost in the world and in the story without having played them. And I yeah. very much appreciate that. Because yeah. I was, a, like, a little bit worried. You never know. 100%. Yeah. As someone who hasn't played them much, but, ha- like, is very aware of the iconography of these mm-hmm. games, I feel like they paid homage to a lot of different pieces of the iconography of the games really well. Um, yeah. The color scheme, yeah. especially in the vault. Yeah. The, like, the color grading is amazing. Yeah. They they did a really good job of that, because obviously, like, I have never played a Fallout game, but mm-hmm. I know the little blonde boy in the blue suit, like, the, the colors yeah. of it. Like, they're very... Um, uh, what's the word? I don't know. Iconic. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're very iconic. I also think that this episode is really helped by the score. I think the music of this episode does such a good job of setting the world in a, a vibe. Yeah. And it's a you know, "Some Enchanted Evening" is a weird one for me, just because it's probably the song professionally I've sung the most. Mm. Um, not this version, obviously. I, I sing the more traditional Broadway version, but. Uh, it's, I, I've been singing Seven Enchanted Evening my whole life, literally. Mm-hmm. It's I, what I auditioned for colleges with when I was 17. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so that that was like, that was a that was a moment for me. But the, the, the musical choices as a whole, I think, really did a wonderful job of co- um, contrasting the vibe of In the Vault with and then Into the Fight and then with the Brotherhood where there's almost no music, right? Where there's no... 
Americana yep. in the Brotherhood. Yep. There is really just sort of their like very stark worldview. Yep. And when you cut back to the vault and we get back into some of that music, I think that it is going to be really interesting. I think that what it sets up for me for the show moving forward is that the story that they're going to tell with Lucy and her point of view coming out into the world is going to be wild because she is so literally sheltered and, you know, has a bunch of skills that are going to make her useful. Yep. But a worldview that is a little bit useless <laughs> until she kind of like learns what reality is, right? I mean, t- it, that's that's tough. I think that I, th- I have a hunch that one of the main questions of the show is going to be whether or not that is useless because like her dad very clearly and pointedly making that speech at her wedding about how he's worried that the surface will change them as opposed to the other way around and like what that means for survival like how do you walk the line of trying to be a good person but also survive in a world that is like utterly unforgiving and I just I have a hunch that that's going to be subject matter this show touches on feels like the vibe yeah, for sure. I, I think, I, I don't think everything about her worldview is bad. I just mean that, like, her idea of herself, I, I think that what the show is going to, re- like, slowly break down for Lucy is that her idea of herself as being a, like, a, a machine to produce babies to further humanity, and, and that that is the most important thing about her, and yeah. what she leads in conversation with, right? Um, the, the, the scene where she leads the conversation of, um, the, her marriage application starts with my reproductive organs are in great shape. Yeah. And then she lists other things about herself. Yeah. Right? And so her worldview is literally that like her place is to be impregnated to further her the first the next thing generation. She, we see her ask her husband is what his sperm count is. Right. right. And so, so that that I think is the thing where she's I, what, she's going to get up topside and realize there's so much more about her that is important mm. than just being a factory for children yeah yeah, right and i i i think that that's going to be a really fun thing to play with in a world where the people outside are going to probably have a much starker view of what bringing a child into the world looks like right and what like the value of a child is outside of the vault versus inside yeah um yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm stoked. I, I really think the pilot's wonderful. I yeah, think, I think they crushed it. Yeah. Like, like truly, I like feel like this was in a lot of ways made for me. But, mm-hmm. but, but it's funny. Like, normally I'd be like, uh, high fantasy is my thing. But I think I just felt so, like, taken care of yeah. by the writing mm-hmm. that I'm like, I, I felt like I could just like sit back and sit, like, slip in and enjoy it. Right? It's funny. Yeah, it's good. But and 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 what it does really well with the comedy that some modern comedy things struggle with is that the comedy doesn't break the tension. Mm-hmm. Like it manages to tell a joke and let its audience laugh, but the audience is looking at somebody. There's somebody in the background as the audience is laughing whose eyes are moving a little bit weird that lets the audience know that it's still not okay. Yeah. And that is hard to do. And I think and part of it's uh, Jonathan Nolan is a very talented director. Um, you know they 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 had a heavy hitter on this, right? But I I, I really am impressed. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I can't wait to watch more. This was fun. I can't yeah. wait to play the games. This is this is the best ad for Bethesda I think I've seen in years. Yeah, well done. If you like this video, like subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is. I. It's got to be fucking. What's her name? Alice. Al- who's Alice? Who's the lead woman? Jane. What? I just said. Her name's Jane. Isn't that what it was? Is it Jane? Wait, no, that can't be her name. Wait, it literally says there's a screen that like comes up. It's like Jane. Right? Like I thought her name was Alice that whole time. 19 years later, doesn't it come up like here? Alice, where'd you get Alice from? I don't know. I don't know where I got Jane from. What is her name? It's Lucy. It's Lucy. fucking Lucy. Oh, yeah, no, we're back. That's where I got Alice. Alice from. Where the fuck did I get Jane from? I don't know, but I know where I got I know where I got Alice from. From Lucy? L and C. Yeah, I just mix up the vowels. Sure. Wow, we crushed that. Well done. If you want to follow us around the internet for shit like that, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. <laughs> I'm at Polaris Kolaris. Like I can't fucking do names apparently. Like <laughs> do something nerdy tonight. Jesus Christ. Bye. Bye.